main man, Lucky Lancer, for more <clears throat> Gruel Ponds of Action. It's right back for some more. Hope you guys are excited for it. Uh, like I said, my name is Lance. More importantly, my screen is Major Riot. That's Major underscore Riot underscore. That is my screen name on Twitch, YouTube, MTGO, MTGA, and Twitter. If you're watching me on Twitch, please start following me. If you're watching on YouTube, please start subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up. And you can also follow me on Twitter, The Birds. Uh, El Rodeo, thank you very much for showing up here today. So many cool streamers on today. Are you talking about me? I, I, I really appreciate being called a cool streamer. I really do. And Gemstone Dragon's got some long thing where I'm just going to respond to it. Fiddle dee Which is generally I use in a negative sarcastic thing. Like where I top deck the fourth basic land in a row. And I'm like, fiddle dee dee That's another basic land. I'm not going to swear today. But I am going to smash this table. But it, not, not, not that I ever become violent. But I, I should. At some, I think a normal person would. But I've controlled my rage. <laughs> I guess. Um... Anyways, like I said, following me on Twitch and Twitter. And don't forget to subscribe to me on YouTube, Major Riot on YouTube, for the low, low cost of free. It doesn't cost you a penny. Don't do it. I mean, don't. please do it. Don't delay. Do it now. And I'm sure you'll get your uh, money's worth since it's free because you get to see me act a fool, uh, rage. Uh, sup, that gauge? That gauge here, too. That's Major Thicky. Uh, sure, why not? I'm not 400 pounds, you know. I know some people, you know, I, I like to tell people I weigh 400 pounds because I obviously don't weigh 400 pounds. But I just like to tell people, yeah, I'm about 400. And they're all confused. What up, Gage? Uh, I'm probably going to bet on your 49ers. They won me money last week, so I'm probably going to bet on them again. I uh, hope they win, honestly. I don't, I don't like the Rams. I don't really like the 49ers either. I, I, I hate both teams. Um, but I just picked the 49ers because everyone's against Jimmy Garoppolo. And I'm like, yeah, cut him some slack. I know, you guys haven't lost to the Rams in forever, so I think you guys can get it. Um, so anyways, yeah, don't you won't regret following me on Twitch or Twitter or subscribing to me on YouTube. I also have to give you this disclaimer all the time. Uh, I am not responsible if you follow me on Twitch or subscribe to me on YouTube. I am not responsible for any sudden increase in top-decking lands, getting wrecked by Ragavan, and never finding your sideboard cards. It just happens to be a random thing. It's a weird coincidence. Uh, as you guys can tell, I do enjoy playing Magic the Gathering. I play Magic the Gathering. I prefer to play Modern. And when I play Modern, I play one of four decks somewhat coherently. Those four decks, four decks currently are Semi Boomer Jun, Grixis Shadow, Abzan, which you screen right now, Groupons and Midrange. Groupons and Midrange is my favorite deck. It's the deck I play the most. It's the deck I've had the most success with, both in paper and in digital. So I enjoy playing it the most, even though I do get to yell at it a lot. I did get to yell at it yesterday. My God, I think I top decked five lands in a row twice. Um, Jimmy do be ass, though. Yeah, he's not great. I mean, but, I mean, sometimes you don't need a great quarterback. Does anyone remember the name of the quarterback for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers when they won their first Super Bowl? I don't remember. I see his face, but I remember his name. And then, of course, Trent Dilfer for the Baltimore Ravens when they won their first Super Bowl. I mean, nobody gives a damn about Trent Dilfer. Funny enough, he came to Seattle and was like arguably our best quarterback maybe we ever had up until Russell Wilson. He was before Matt Hasselbeck too. Um, but anyways, uh, so let's take a look here at the weather. I know people are always excited for weather. The Air Stake Nation. Brad Johnson, thank you very much for Norbert. Norbert's here with the quarterback knowledge too and along with his usual MTG knowledge. Thank you very much. Uh, weather for Ravensdale. Conditions are sunny with a temperature of 47 degrees. The wind is blowing from the east southeast at 8 miles per hour, and the current humidity is 48%. Yeah, the air stagnation is gone, guys. Um, it is just really windy. Um, hopefully, I don't lose power during this, but if I do, um, don't panic. Just go do something else. Um, we are still at 16 followers on Twitter. We are still at 208 followers on Twitch. We're still at 346 subscribers on YouTube. So, shout out to all 16 followers on Twitter. Shout out to all 208 followers on Twitch. Shout out to all 346 subscribers on YouTube. And of course, a massive shout out to all three of my Twitch subscribers. I really appreciate going way above and beyond the call of duty. Um, and giving me just a little bit of the hard-earned money. They work very hard for their money. And I just appreciate it so much, guys, that you're willing to give me any money at all. And uh, all I'll ask is you guys just you know watch and enjoy the best you can. And you guys do. You guys watch a lot. It's very impressive to me that people are willing to put up with me this much. And uh, thank you guys very much. Uh, next week, I do have an announcement about next week. Money for Ponza? Yeah. <laughs> Money for Ponza. Uh, next week, 
I am not playing Ponza. We are going into, for the first time in 2022, some people are going to hate this, some people are going to love this, Semi-Boomer Jun. That's right, bring it back out. Liliana coming in. I'm going to show you how strong she really is. And I know people are going to become enraged, but I don't care. I'll probably become enraged too, but whatever. Uh, so, yeah. No, Lily is not ass. She's very good. Um, anything else? Oh, I, I, this is kind of sad news, but you guys, it's not really sad news. So I'm a big fan of Serious Sam. I love the old school FPS games. For years now, I've been being told that Serious Sam 4 is coming out on Xbox One. That's what I have. I don't have an Xbox S. Even though I can go buy, get an Xbox S today, they have them at Fred Meyer slash Kroger. And today they said that it was never coming out on Xbox One. It was only coming out on Xbox X and S. So get an Xbox X or S. I guess I can download on this gaming PC. I have this massively powerful gaming PC that I only run MTGO on usually. Um, I guess I could download on there. I don't know how that works. I guess I could try. And then if it doesn't work and I don't get achievements or nothing for it, I'm going to be pissed. I think my Xbox 360 controller will work in this because... I have played Street Fighter V on this instead of the PS5. I have put it on here. My old Xbox 360 joystick works. Thank God. Um, so anyways. I know, but I don't know if I'll get the achievements. Steam. Ha I don't want Steam achievements. I want Microsoft Xbox achievements. I have like 43,000 points. The whole reason I don't buy just an Xbox Series S, which is only like after tax like $400, uh, is because I'm not going to buy it just for Serious Sam 4. Guys, it took me five years to beat Fallout 4. That's how frequently I play video games, okay? Literally, it took me five years to beat it because I play video games about one to two hours a week. So, oh, JB, how you doing, man? I'm doing good. How you doing, man? Um, yeah, it's been a little while, but I'm sure you got more important things to do than watch me. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's just, I might buy it, buy it on, uh, buy Serious Sam 4 on Microsoft Windows, and I guess I'll get achievements for it. MTGO is a video game. Yeah, it is, but it's not a real, like, video game, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, let's get into the gameplay here. I gotta finish this league off. Guys, I'm still fighting this one league. I'm one and one. I got destroyed by Dredge yesterday because I couldn't find a damn sideboard card to save my life. I messed up a little bit with Relic Regenis, but still. When you've got... Two oozes, three clopas in the main, and you bring in three relics and two endurances, you'd think maybe you'd find, like, one of them. But no, I just found, like, four basic lands in a row. Yeah, I don't know what kind of car that is, JP. All right. All right, yes, I'd like to go first. And that's a quality hand, I'll keep. But before we get to the actual gameplay, we got to get to our favorite part. Perhaps the most hyped part of the video slash stream is the official beverage reveal. Today's beverage, we're finishing them off, folks. This is the fourth and final flavor of what I've been drinking all week. Uh, again, this is extremely unpopular at my local beer mart. They are basically throwing these in the trash, but I did pay 99 cents for this. Uh, we got the final flavor of Bang Boo's Hydration Sensation. Look at the name on this thing. It is Raging Raspberry Hibiscus. What a name. I don't know. The last, yesterday's was good. The blackberry one. Remember, there's no caffeine in this. It's just flavored water to make you feel healthy. Let's get on in here. Raging ras. Is that one? Raging raspberry. What the hell? Come on now. Oh, there we go. Pinky up. It's good. I like it. Tastes really good, actually. Volvo C30. Yeah, I don't even know if those are around in the United States. They probably are, but I'm still driving around a car from the year two. I'm cheap. I, like, once I get something, I won't stop using it till literally I can't use it anymore. My two vehicles that are mine, one's a 1997 Silverado, and the other is a 2000 Toyota Celica. The 2000 Toyota Celica, look at my camera. It's really struggling today. I've noticed that. The 2000 Toyota Celica has 297,000 miles on it. And I just replaced all its spark plugs and three of the four coils last week. Remember, guys, I was talking about how um, it wasn't working well. I had to drive the truck around. My, my truck has low mileage. So, man, my camera, I, I really don't know what happens to this thing sometimes. 
Does a Dragon Rage Chandler with Oh, this is Merc type. Come on, camera. Maybe that's why I need to invest in a new camera. Because this thing just loses focus all the time. Sometimes if I slowly move my hand back, it, it worked for a second there. It focused for a second. Riveting gameplay. There it goes. Finally got it to focus. What's happening here? Uh, I think just blood mooning here looks good. Yeah. Generally, Blood Moon's bad against this deck, but in this situation, it might be all right. Now he's just going to dash a Ragavan. Yeah, I don't know anything about Volvos or nothing. Basic Island in hand, of course, and dashed Ragavan. Come on, punish me as hard as you can. Come on, man. I want to get punished so bad here. Holding this basic island. You gotta dash the Ragavan. Come on, you can do this, dude. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Guys, this only happens to me, I swear to God. Like, what the hell? What the fuck, man? Alright, well, it's Blood Braid time. Come on, Blood Braid. Okay, Lightning Bolt works. Bolt that thing. And, uh, no swing. Not now. Punish me? Well, I don't want to be punished. I'm being sarcastic there. Like, I'm a bad man. You're going to have to hurt me. Misty Rainforest is just a mountain. All right. All right. Let's swing in for three. Seven man, all right. That's four. And they can't counterspell it. At all. Uh, I'm just going to eat the Dragon Rage Chandler right now. Looks like there's no Unholy Heat. Might be a Bolt, though. Not yet. Did I forget to play a land? I did. Damn it. Oh, well. Not like I could play anything else out of my hand there. Otherwise, I definitely would have played a land. That's probably why I didn't. Because I thought about playing, like, Pyro instead. But I think this Ooze is good here. So there's double blue. One, two. I mean, I plan on just devouring here. It's going to dash this thing? What's going on here? Is this a clever way... Is this a clever way to kill my uh, ooze? I don't know why he'd be doing this. Maybe to get uh, what's its name out? The Merc Tide. I guess not. I don't know what the hell that was. The fuck? What the hell? Uh. Yeah, just keep on devouring. A waste of red here. Uh, swing in for seven. Want to hold of the Bone Crusher Giant Stomp in case there's a Ragavan. Um. 
I guess in his upkeep, I'll eat an expressive iteration. Or not. I mean, at some point, I gotta start eating. Yeah, I'm still gonna eat expressive iteration. Because that'll still knock him off delirium. Holy doesn't have. Well, you think you're on Holy Heated already. Yep, here comes Murktide. Lots of problems. The 6-6. Six, six. Funny enough, I will be able to kill it if he blocks Ooze. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to swing in and see if he blocks Ooze. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Uh, I wonder if they have force negation. Just do this right now. Play season pyro, refresh the hand. Oh, it's that gauge. I did not see you had a sugary beverage sip up there. This has no sugar in it, but we're going to have to count it, man. Mm. Thank you for making me do that, uh, Gage. All right, JP, you have a good night. Uh, hope you're enjoying that car. You know, probably cost you a pretty penny. Um, but thanks for stopping by, uh, JP. See you around hopefully sometime soon. All right, game one in the books for your boy, Major Riot. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah, so generally Pillage and Blood Moon are really bad, but Blood Moon looked good there. Weird. Um, endurance is obviously in. Take out a couple Blood Moons for Plummet, I guess. Leave two in. Oh, no, I gotta take all four out. Yeah, Blood Moon is just not very good. I mean, they just get around it so easily. Uh... This is like borderline keep because I'd have to, have to find another land. I'm going second. I'm going to have two draws before I can't find a third. I'm going to keep. I'm going to try the Reed Duke bargain. I see him do this all the time. Why not me? We've got Bolt ready for Ragavan. Gage says keep. There it is. Okay, I found the other land. So, the question is, is do I try to bolt it now or wait till their turn? Because there's two train of thoughts here. The first train of thought is you wait till their turn to bolt it because they may have multiple Ragavans in their hand, right? So you bolt it now, they just dash another one. The one where you don't wait till their turn, where you bolt it right now, is because they have a counter spell in hand. So which one's better? Which one do you guys think is better? Bolt now or wait till their turn? Any takers? No? Just me on my own here? That's fine. Um... I've been burned so bad so many times by just not bolting during my own turn. So we'll do it now and see if we got another Ragavan. I mean, take the risk, right? Gage said now, okay. All right. 
Okay, looks like we're all right there. Wow, three season pyros. Um, I'm willing to trot out ooze. Get a threat going. They may counterspell this. Not yet. Bolt it. Okay. All right. Opponent does nothing. Another forest. At least it gives me something else to discard with Pyromancer. I want to hold this plummet. Does this resolve? Doesn't look like it. No. N to the O. Do you guys know that in Spanish, no is also no? Unlike German, where no is nine. Not the number nine, but nine. Uh... Alright, discard the other pyro and a forest. This one resolves, okay. Nice. Uh, I'll get a basic forest here. There's a lot of pyro tokens. Sweet. Opponent is stuck on two lands. Wow. Okay. <laughs> it's interesting. Opponent will be up to four cards in hand. Okay. Ugh, gross. All right, swing with them both. Yeah, no way he'll block. Sure. There's even more tokens for me. That is not put Delirium on. Let's get a fetch stomp, uh, uh, tap stomping ground. And do first of three season pyro tokens. Elf. Yeah, we're going wide, Manure, but we're going to have a potential of just huge amount of tokens. I'm just going to keep making tokens. That doesn't really matter. Oh, I should have played the Arbor Elf. I skipped through it. Oh, well. As wide as, wide as your mom. You mom is so fat that she needed cheat codes to play Wii Fit. That's an old one, guys. Showing my age with that one. All right. Just keep him coming here. Hopefully he doesn't play Anger the Gods or something crazy. Pyroclasm. Another different relic. I'm pretty down with that. Yeah, if I would have played that uh, Arbor Elf that last turn, I could have had more mana to have more goofy shenanigans happen, I'm sure. Look at this unholy heating a token. Love it. 
put force negation in. It's the first time I've seen a force negation in a while. What is that? Wow. Put Scalding Tarn in. I right, threw everything at these things. Yeah, I know, Gage. He threw everything at it. And Holy Heat, a Lightning Bolt, and his Channeler. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. <sighs> I really regret not playing Arbor Elf last turn. Um, I'm just going to play both Arbor Elf and Relic, and then their upkeep, I'm going to exile everything. But first, we waste time here doing that. And then in their upkeep, exile everything. Nice. Get a Fury. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Easily defeating Blue Red Nelver. No match for my unlimited supply of Elemental 1 1s. That's some good shit right there. I guess this league ends in like two weeks. I didn't even notice that. Till right this moment. So 1-0 in, in so far for today, 2-1 uh, in the league. Looks like the MTG bot still isn't working. Is that right? No, no, there it is. Right there. I'm blind. Send help. All right. Okay, of course I'd like to go first. That's what we always dream of, going first. I rolled a six. Uh, not gonna keep that. It's a Lurus, another Lurus deck. I'll keep this though. It's a fine mix of lands and spells. All right, get that basic forest that we put on the bottom. It's back. It's okay. We have a Clothis and a Bolt to stop the stupid crab. They put in two Season Pyros? Okay. That's dead. You die. Do you think they got another archive trap? I think I should just blast this archive trap now. I'm going to. The hell with it. Let's right, see this archive trap. Didn't happen. All right, good. Another different crab. Fuck. Now I need to top deck another red card. There went th three red cards. God. Probably gonna be a green card now. If it's scavenging news, that's okay, I guess. Oh, it is another. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna Evo kill this, play uh, Clothis. I 
Okay, is that right? I think so. Well... Damn. Maybe it's better for me... I mean, what if they have, like, Spell Pierce here or something? Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna evoke and play Clothis. Crab Rave. Remember the crab people in South Park? That was disturbing. All right. I'm gonna be devouring stuff out of my grave. I'm at 20, so Vision of the Beyond right now be good for the opponent. They have nothing. I have Scavenging Ooze, which is pretty damn good. See, they got Drown here. They do not. No Drown the Lock. The Fatal Push, though. Eat these crabs so Luris can't get them back. Maybe I should have ate on my own. I don't know. Let's just look at the top four, right? I can never remember what um, Hideaway is. It's top four, right? Yeah, top four. Um, hmm. Should I just eat a land, or should I... I mean, should I get the clock going? I think I'm just going to keep trying to get the clock going in terms of with Clothis. So I want to get some value out of this Fury. I could need to land there and make pyro tokens too. That is definitely possible. Only 12 cards got hit. Huh. I guess because it hit a fury. Hit one fury in there. Scavenging news. The other scavenging news is gone, so I can start eating everything with Clothis. Bloodbraid Elf, I think I will cast that. Come on, Bloodbraid. What's left in the deck for you to grab? Lightning Bolt? Yes. Bolt him. Swing for three. All right. I have 18 cards left in the deck. Hopefully that hideaway card isn't anything insane. Whatever we do, we don't want to play a fetch land. Arbor Elf isn't quite good enough to get there. Um, I guess eat Clothis. Swing for three. Drown, okay. Oh, good, it's an archive trap. 
of course. Probably dead here. Sure. Do I have any lightning bolts left? One, two, three. No, I don't have any left because I ate one, right? Yeah. Okay, all right. Opponent wins. They got there with the hideaway. I guess I should have put Fury out. That was dumb of me. All right. So Relic in. Endurance in. Oh, yeah. I'm sure it's been uh, very fun, chill, and interactive. You hope you got a, a lot of good contributions. Hope you got some sweet um, fan-made uh, slides for your pre-stream pre podcast-like podcast where you explain to them what you did the previous day and you explain to them for the seventh time what you're going to be doing this week. Where is my Emrakul? I, why would I have an Emrakul in this? That seems like a pretty bad card just to have an Emrakul just for Demir. Mill. But yeah, uh, Gemstone, yeah. Sounds like, uh, you know, things are going good. Sounds like positivity is up. Sounds like uh, if you could if you could just beg a little bit harder, you'd be uh, getting some more sweet WWE champion alone time, but we don't talk about that. All right. Yeah. I think this is good. What do you guys think? It is an okay hand, hopefully. I saw you rage quit Resident Evil Ada, or whatever it was, Ada. Dude, I love this game, but I gotta quit. It, it, it's sad. Soul Guide Lantern? That's an interesting one. Um, okay. Well, I've only watched the guy for like, God, 14 years now. I mean, I was one of the guys watching before he was even known on YouTube. For real. I was paying it. Uh, this is probably an archive trap here. But we go for it. No trap, wow. Blood Rain! Scavenging Ooze, yes. Drown the Lock cannot deal with either one of these right now. But a Counterspell can. Reman the Ooze, sure. Swing for three. It's hard to believe there's a time where where DSP was like a popular, like well thought of internet entertainer. Like I didn't really I I thought he was a lol cow way back in the day. Oh god, that's gross. So we're going to do some pretty gross shit here. Because he's got this Soul Guide Lantern. Okay, we're gonna, are you guys ready for this? Are you... Man, that's a lot of stomping rounds. So what we're going to have to do, since he's got this Soul Guide Lantern... We're going to have to lose the ooze, too. So first things first, we're going to lightning bolt a crab. 
the, I like Bolton the Rune Crab. Um, because it, it, this one can get stomped on too. So I like bolting this one. Now, we cast Endurance. Target myself. He does this. With that on the stack, we cast the second Endurance. Again, targeting myself, which will actually send the Endurance back. He may have some sort of Surgical Extraction. Wow! <laughs> nice! Nice, nice, nice. Got to send back the Endurance, too. That was sick. Thanks for remanding that Scavenging Ooze, dude. I really appreciate it. Well, fuck. He immediately just fills the grave again. So I, that's all four season pyros in there. I really hope he doesn't have a uh, surgical extraction. So in his upkeep, I'm actually going to get Pyro Tokens, just in case he top decks. Um, okay. Just in case he was going to top deck Surgical Extraction. Yeah. Add the Lurus. It's going to be close. Another different Arbor Elf. Swing with everyone. Whoa, Will! Coming in here hot with the rate of 11. How you doing, bud? Glad you're here, dude. Thank you for bringing all these fine people with you. Really appreciate that, man. Need the Doom sound effect? Like, what? There's a lot of sound effects in Doom. All right. Thank you, kindly seen 8998 for the follow. Really appreciate it. Uh, you know, let me know where you're from, what your favorite modern deck is. Uh, hope you have a good one. It's late. Yeah, I saw you were streaming. I'm like, man, it's pretty late for uh, Will Hall to still be up. It's past his bedtime. Infect for life. Well, I'm kind of Ponza for life. Stuck in a good one here against Demur Mill. Oh, you got a 5-0? Very nice. Very, very nice. Happy to hear that. I haven't gotten a 5-0 in a while. I'll have to go back. I think I got one in November with Ponza. Uh, I've been close. I've had several 4-0s that get turned into 4-1s. Okay. He has not played a land this turn. So this is a real problem with the lure. It says lifelink. I need to find some sort of way out. What do I have left? One lightning bolt. So I still have three lightning bolts. I still have three furies. 
three Furies, one Bone Crusher Giant, and a Chandra. I hope I can find something to deal with this. I mean, I really need to kill this Lurus. Come on, deck. Ah, oh, fucking sprawl. So he's going to block two. Go down by one. What a joke. But we still got to swing. Got to swing at him. Maybe he'll foolishly swing with this Lurus. And we can block him with the uh, Pyros tokens. Yep. Fury, Wooded Foothills, Clothus, Blood Elf Pillage. Yeah, he's not going to attack. I need a top deck. You know, I still have a lot here. I still have, you know, Relic of Urgendus. Probably a little late on that. I guess, man, I really messed up there. I should have made the tokens. Terrible gameplay there. Yeah, I, I want to draw, but I also want to keep having pressure with... I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? Uh, okay. Let's try I got Counterspell. All right, I'm going to try and ping him with Ren, the Lurus. See if this works. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Okay. All right. There's hope. But I really messed up there. I need to have, I should have had two, I should have two more Pyro tokens. I have 10 cards left. Anything but a land. Oh my god. Alright, swing for four. It is classic gauge, isn't it? I guess I could kill a Hedron Crab. Oh, what's better here? I mean, a fetch land, I just die if I if I don't kill the crab. If I ping him and he doesn't find a way to mill me, then I can technically swing for game next turn unless he top decks another crab. You know, I mean, there's just a lot of things that can go really wrong here.
<laughs> Pretty much, Gage, yeah. I'm going to try and kill the crab. Nine cards left in deck. He's probably holding on to some archive traps. All right, he's got to have some here. I was going to draw Blood Raid Elf, which would have cascaded into Lightning Bolt. God damn, dude. I top decked a land. How many lands were left in the thing? There were, out of the top, out of the last ten cards, I still had three lands where I draw the Wooded Foothills. Fucking miserable. Gross. Absolutely fucking gross. Alright, well. I am 1-1 one one on the day, 2-2 two two in the league. Trying to go for a 3-2 and two here. I know Gage always enjoys um, seeing me get wrecked by my own deck. It's like one of his personal favorite things. Like, ugh, oh, God. I don't know if they ac meant to make Mill Tier 1. It's just an accident because that Tasha's Hideous Laughter was like the only Mill card made in the last year, I want to say, that was like decent. Because um, the last Mill cards were what? From like War of the Spark and stuff? I'm not sure. It's just this is modern. They're going to have every Mill card and their fucking mom in modern. Oh yeah, there was the there was the one crab. That's right, the crab in Zendikar Rising. Yeah, does it? I don't remember. I don't play standard. Most of these cards aren't from Zendikar Rising. Oh wait, you guys are right. I'm thinking, I'm getting confused. Zendikar Rising is they were playing. It was what was it was just Mill and Standard, right? It was Tier One. What what was the deck that MTG Goldfish was all about? for like months and people hated playing against it Demir Rogues thank you Luke thank you very much there Demir Rogues yeah the one guy from MTG Goldfish the guy with the weird colored hair I don't remember his name I can only remember there's Krim and there's Seth Saffron Olive right I don't remember the other guy's name there's one guy he thinks Tarmogoyf is like unplayable for the last like 10 years Richard, there you go. Whoa, Stompy Wire. <laughs> Whoa, calm down. Ten dollar donation. That's going way above and beyond there. Thank you very kindly for that, Stompy. I really appreciate that. That is so kind. Thank you for uh, the like on the uh, the tweet and the retweet today. I really appreciate that. That's oh good. I get to play against. Uh, Yeah, he said Ponza. Make it rain. Uh, looks like he has four color blank, which is just absolute fucking horror. But maybe I can get a Chandra out on turn two. That's my goal. See if this gets prophetic. What? Alright, no force of negation, please. Uh, nope. Sadly, lose out on that one. Much rather really had that in hand. What is this? What? What the hell? Alright, we're just gonna go fast with this clock here.
Pillage? Yeah, I actually will cast that. Um, and then I think we just attack for one. I, I want to try and save these Furies for, um... I mean, Chandra's getting close to Embling here. Uh, Wizards said that there's nothing wrong with Modern. You must have not been paying attention. They said that months ago, too. They were like, we think everything's going pretty good here. And I didn't expect to have any bans, but everybody and their mom was like, Luris going to get banned. It's going to be bad for Luris. Oh, I know. Blood Moon would be amazing here. That's not Blood Moon, but just in case, we'll get a Forest, plus Chandra, get Scavenging Ooze? No, I do not want to cast that. But I do want to cast Fury. Just to get a Double Striker on the field. I'll probably cash in the Chandra Emblem. So you can get another amulet, and we are we gonna die here? I think we're gonna die here. Yeah, we gonna die. What the fuck? Should have spiraled looking for moon. Well, let's see if it was in the top two. I probably should have, though. What's happening here? Does he have another... He must have another titan. Oh, hell yeah! Oh my god. Just can't win, folks. Does he have a third Titan in hand? Let's check out this third Titan. Oh, it's Cultivator Colossus. Folks, this was turn, um, turn three. Turn three just absolutely destroyed. I'm going to make him waste all this time, though. No, it's turn three, Juice Box. It's turn three. I just looked. Oh, no, you're right. Never mind. It's turn four. Never mind. Turn four. I've seen this before at my locals. It, it, it's only, you know, this guy's turn is like literally like 3,000 paragraphs. Like every time he does, you put the triggered ability from Amulet Vigor on the stack. Whenever a permanent enters the battlefield, tap and untapped and under your control, untap it. I mean, it says that like literally about 40 times here now. And it's just on this stack. I'm going to make him waste all this time, though. You know, if he wants to show his butt, let him show his ass. You know? Let people enjoy their glory. This guy probably has nothing happening in his life. He probably has, like, a dead-end job if he's employed. Probably is lonely. Probably still can't beat, like, the first level of Halo Combat Evolved. You know, he still gets really scared whenever he plays Resident Evil. It's just, it's rough. So if this is what makes them happy and jolly, yeah, there's the upheaval. And he just redoes it all again.
Let's watch this, guys. <laughs> you know, if you're a child and you've never played Resident Evil, like, 1, 2, whatever, um, what just happened there? What? What in the hell? Well, he, he tries to put as many lands as possible on the field of Cultivator Colossus. So if Cultivator Colossus comes onto the field, you may put a land card from your hand and draw a card and continuously repeat that process. And so they basically draw their whole deck. Uh, I've seen a guy in my locals. He's a big time amulet player. That's like all he's ever I've ever seen him play. Um, I've seen him be able to valicut. You know, he if he has dryad, he'll just valicut you to death, like just with one colossus on the field. But we're gonna watch this all. I'm glad that we have this many viewers to check this out. Um, look at the size of the stack of this amulet. Look at it. I mean, just look at it. And we're gonna enjoy this. I don't give a fuck. My timer's not running down. I mean, we're just going to take a good gander at this. Anyone want to talk about anything? Resident Evil 1. Uh, it's been a long time since I played original Resident Evil. Um, I kind of wanted to play them again because they have all the remakes. Um, but, you know, I was a big fan of the Resident Evils when they came out. And uh, I haven't played Resident Evil 7 or 8. But I have played, you know, 1, 2, 3, Code Veronica, 0, 4, 5, and 6. Because I just stopped playing video games. Um, period. Emulation. I like paying people for their stuff, you know? I mean, I really do. Like, Capcom made great games there, and they should be rewarded for it. I looked up Resident Evil 4 on Xbox. It's only, like, $9. Like, I bought that game brand new back in 2004 or whatever for GameCube for, like, 55 bucks after tax. All right, there's Dryad, and here comes the Valakuts. Here they come. One more land. Oh, he's gonna give give haste to double strike. Look at this, I'm gonna get killed. Look at how fancy this was, guys. Look how I'm gonna get killed by an arboreal grazer as a two three with double strike. Check that out. This guy, this guy lived it all. He lived it all right here. Hang on, guys. Come on, let, let's give this man a round of applause. My God. What the fuck? Now, that was a serious ass beating. Now, what I've drawn, Gage says I should have tried to draw too. What I found, Blood Moon? No. I would have found Sprawl and Arbor Elf. All right. Well, that was a shitload of fuck. Uh, yeah, scavengers and clothes are really bad. Force of Vigor and Cinder Vines are what I need. I used to run Boil, but I just don't know more. I kind of regret that sometimes. I was unable to defeat Amulet Titan last time I played against it with Ponza. It got me. All right, Gage. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Really appreciate it. And hope to see you soon, and uh, hopefully the 49ers win, even though I don't like the 49ers. I mean, I'm not going to be pissed if the Rams... I do want the Bengals to make it. There we go. Oh, only one land. Fuck. He's probably got no girlfriend. I don't remember saying that. I remember saying he's lonely. But, I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't be shocked. I mean, imagine explaining that, like, to your girlfriend. Like, I have a wife that encourages me all the time to play Magic. Imagine me trying to explain that to her, what just happened there. I don't even know how to explain to you guys. Uh-oh.
Could be Luke. That's actually a good explanation there. He could be in an abusive relationship. Time for some Blood Moon here. Yep. <laughs> yep. That's what happens, folks. That is what happens. I wonder if he's got Force of Vigor in hand. My God, what is this? Why does he have so many basic forests in hand? Not like any of this matters. Pillage that other forest. Mm. Bolt here. Pillage here. All right. I have a lot of mana. Uh, you know what? I should have kept that Arbor Elf in hand in case he gets a dry out of here. Yeah, I need to hold up this Force of Vigor. Now it doesn't matter too much because of... Uh, Arbor Elf on the field. Had to leave for a minute. Like, OG, you don't really have too many options. I... What? Well, no, I don't care if I'm playing it on, like, PlayStation 1. I don't need that. I'm just saying I could buy the remake PlayStation one like the one they made for the gamecube they've remade like resident evil one multiple times i just pay like nine ten bucks for that one like i don't give a damn i mean just i don't even plan on playing resident evil i was just making an example i have thought about playing resident evil 4 i only played it once and i never played operation ada and i kind of want to do that I'm just not that into video games. Like I said, it took five years for me to beat Fallout 4. Because I only play like an hour a week. Just going to beat down with Bone Crusher. Maybe I can eventually, you know, draw a way out of this. Or, I mean, you know, be able to swing more heavily. Well, I, I don't plan on dying anytime soon, so I think I got plenty of time to play video. And plus, I'm going to have kids pretty soon. And one of the things I'm looking forward to in a few years is playing, like, the old school um, make sure that I can do this and still hold bigger. Yes, this is the correct way to do it. But anyways, as I was saying, I was gonna, I was gonna have, um, 
I'm gonna have kids at the end of June, and by the t and when they're four, I hope to play video games with them that they that that are really old by that point, like Super Mario Brothers one and stuff, and just show them and and, and they can watch and you know that kind of stuff. You know, part of video games that's really fun is you can watch other people play, and that's why streaming became so popular, right? And so hopefully the kids will also enjoy that in the future. Another, if you guys missed out, it's, um, I'm disappointed today because Serious Sam 4, which was originally announced to come out on Xbox One, was told today it's not coming on Xbox One. It's only on Xbox X and S, or your PC. So I don't really want to buy an Xbox S, um, even though I can. They have them at Fred Meyer slash Kroger, whatever you want to call them. Um, and they've had them for a while. I mean, just nobody's buying them. Um, but... Another thing I have to do, too, is this TV behind me is the, the TV I play all my video games on. I got my Xbox One hooked up to it. Um, it is an old TV. It is from 2007. It's a 40-inch knockoff brand. What the hell is it called? Nexus. Um, I don't think I can keep this hand. It, it's too rough with the, the stomping ground. I'm going to mull here. I'm going to go to five. Keep here and hope. But anyways, um, so I have to upgrade this TV. It can only get 720. And, um, you know, I can't even do 1080. But I was looking at 4K TVs. I'm like, man, by the way, you know how much I spent on that TV? Get a knockoff brand 40 inch TV. You know how much I got? How much I had to pay for it? I had to pay, no joke, uh, $1,000 was on sale. Dude, this is pretty rough here. I mean, Dryad's going to be coming. I could play on my PC. I don't know if I get Xbox achievements doing that, though. I mean, I think they're just going to destroy my forest, right? I mean, I'm pretty sure I've lost this game. Well, maybe not yet. I think my best hope here is, uh, well, actually, no. My best hope is actually Chandra here. Nice. Okay. Now they're, we're both top, well, he's top decking. Three amulets. Adds Yorion. Hillage. That four double red doesn't do a lot. I guess we just, yeah, plus. See if we get Blood Moon. 
gets seasoned pyro, I'm not going to cast that as crazy as that is. I'm not going to. But I will... Pillage a forest. He can get the forest back, right? Maybe that's not right. I think we just go for Blood Moon here. Come on, Blood Braid. Cinder Vines. Okay. It's not the worst thing in the world. Yeah, I, I've only used this PC besides uh, Magic. I played some Street Fighter V on it. Um, but it sounds like I may be using it for uh, Serious Sam 4. All right, he's going to have Yori on here. I do have double bolt for this thing. But he's going to give it, it... He can't give it haste, though. And and the th this will not trigger... The cinder vines will not trigger on those... Um, on those because they weren't cast. Okay, I think we double bolt here, plus Chandra, do double red. So we go here, name red, add double red, bolt, bolt. Pillage. This is intense. I'm trying to navigate this. Swing for three. They can't transmute, even if they get a bounce land. Well, I guess they can. They get the white. They get the 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 teamer one or the simic one. I mean. I want to hold the cinder vines in case a dryad shows up. No. Swing for three. And then in their upkeep, I'm going to force a vigor them. All right, upkeep. <laughs> they get a, a, they get their fourth amulet. Man, one off from being lethal. Whoa, one off from being lethal. Unless I find Bolt here. Oh my God, I found Bolt. Wow, got the Bolt off the Chandra. Yo, there we go. Nice. Woo! All right, so we got to see that guy go ham, go absolute eight. Um, there in the first game, and then after that, it was just a good old Ponza grind, beat down the big mana deck the way it should be.
God damn it. That's the way things should be going. All right, guys. That's going to do it for today, guys. I got to get up early. Unfortunately, you guys won't see me again until Monday next week, and it will not be pawns. It will be semi-boomer jund. Um, like I said, this year I want to try and play other decks more than Ponza, but I think that's just going to collapse eventually. I think, you know, I just enjoy playing Ponza so much that I honestly start missing the deck. I'm like, if I just had Blood Moon or, you know what, my Clothis would have got me out of this, you know. Um, but yeah, next week's going to be Semi Boomer Jund. I don't know the list I'm building yet right now. Um, we'll have to see how I feel. Um, but, you know, we'll take a look at it and see how it does. Um, you know, but yeah, I think you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that. A two and one, a three and two on the, on the day, on the league. Um, unfortunately, yeah, the matches earlier this week took so long. I just wasn't able to play as many, ma as many matches as I want to play normally. Normally I try to get through about 20 matches a week if possible for the live stream audience. This week I was only able to get 15. I didn't even have like an unexpected day off or something, or a day where I couldn't stream because of work. Um, so anyways, guys, uh, let's do some shout outs here. Got a lot of them. Shout out to the Gemstone Dragon Slayer, the Loop Man 98, Stompy Wire, Thek Gage, Snoring Dad, it's Juicebox 6 Y'all, um, well, uh, Will Hall Experience, Scene 8998, uh, Manure Butt, and the Nightbot, oh, and El Rodeo Son, and the Nightbot, and the MTG Bot. Thank you guys very much for joining me in chat, keep me company. Uh, shout outs here to the Will Hall experience for the raid of 11 people. That's very awesome. Thank you very much, uh, Will. Uh, shout outs here to Scene8998 for the follow. And shout outs to Stompy Wire for an amazing $10 tip. That was absolutely insane. Thank you so much, everybody, for all the support today. Um, you know, but unfortunately, I got to get off and I got stuff I got to do. So. Um, I wish I could play more, but I just can't. And I will be uh, back on Monday at 4 p.m. Pacific time with Semi Boomer Jund. Um, you know, I, I do have an important weekend coming up. Um, tomorrow, obviously, I go to my locals, play there, play with Ponza. Saturday, the circus is coming to town. It actually is. Uh, not actual Barnum Bailey's, they don't have that anymore, but the circus is coming, guys. That's right. Um, we're talking about Circus Olay. It is coming to Seattle. My wife really wants to go. I got her tickets for Christmas, and we're going on Saturday. So expect a full report on what your boy, Major Riot, got to watch at front row seats. Front row seats to this thing. And it really wasn't that expensive. Um, just watch people dance, swing around from the ceiling, jump through hoops, uh, sing, uh, I don't know what to expect, honestly. It looks crazy. It looks like something I'd never go myself, but the wife really wants to go. And, you know, a happy wife is a happy life, right? Um, plus, it was her Christmas gift. Um, yeah, it's like, <laughs> yeah, it's like the Rakdos Guild, exactly. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so I'll let you guys know how that goes. Uh, again, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you watched on Twitch Live, please consider uh, uh, following. If you watch on YouTube, please subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up. And um, you can also follow me on Twitter. That'd be great, too. Um, but, yeah, I will be back tomorrow. I mean, tomorrow. Monday at 4 p.m. Pacific time um, for live viewing um, and all that good stuff. And I hope to see you guys there. Again, today was an amazing day. Thank you guys so much. Uh, it's just been messed up by those 45-minute matches I had earlier this week. You know, I, I would have loved to play more, but I, I got stuff I got to do outside, too. So I got to go out and do chores and stuff. You know, it's tough being a blue-collar man working for a living, um, raising a family and everything. But I hope most of you can understand where I'm coming from. Uh, so, everyone, be safe out there. Eat some good food. Drink some good beverages. Spend some time with your sweetheart. Maybe go see Circus Olay whenever it comes to your town. Because literally, unless you live in Russia... It's pretty rare that the circus comes to town. And and this is even like the circus, like the old style, where they have elephants and tigers and, and stuff like that. It's it's modern. I think the I think the circuses in Russia, they actually fire live ammunition, and sometimes somebody gets killed that wasn't supposed to be killed. I think that's the problem over in Russia. But 
Anyways, guys, again, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you all on Monday at 4 p.m. Pacific time for more semi-boomer or new in the new year semi-boomer John to action. And I hope it goes well. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. And see you then. All right, everybody. Peace.